another everyone and welcome back to Empire Total War with Darth Mod. If I remember correctly we had uh, quite the derpy naval fight last time around that didn't go too well for us as we lost two ships and that French ship managed to actually uh, slip away and so I wasn't able to sink him even though there was only three men left um, uh, on the uh, on the crew or as the crew so they uh, they managed to get away even though there's only three guys left but um, France as a nation will soon be gone unfortunately the um, age bracket was a lot of ministers have been dying so the army and the navy has died and been replaced by people of not the same quality at all and we lost a gentleman in India and instead of him we've got a gentleman which spawned here in I can't exactly remember where he spawned uh, John Campbell and uh, we're gonna send him to Europe or back to England because uh, right now maybe if a village turns up here maybe I can turn that into a, a school or a university but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen anytime soon so um, we're gonna send him to Europe I was gonna do this with the 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 well it's probably better to have a university in America it makes more sense I think than maybe the one I have in India um, anyways we got this big battle on Newfoundland and uh, it's time to assault the Frenchies. So I have 6,000 men against an enemy force of 10,000 men because I can see 5,376 and 5,092 men. So 10,000 French men versus uh, 6,000 of ours, and most of these men are German. Uh, we got the 5th Northumberland, Dissected Marksman, the Scottish Line Infantry, but most of these troops are from, uh, um, they are Hessians, Hessian Grenadier. Um, oh, I have not, I did not upgrade the Hobbitsers for this army, but I am, am now able to recruit, um, Hovitz says with greater caliber 24 pounders and the uh, the latest one which is the 32 pounder howitzer which I imagine causes quite the bang anyways let's go ahead and out to save and then draw into battle shall we right here we are looking at my deployments so I have placed my uh, normal cannons, the 12 pounders, over there on the left, out in this pocket of um, uh, d deployment soon, uh, soon <laughs> zone that has uh, been given to me here. And I've put the selected marksman up in front that will be putting down stakes to cover the cannons and then move up a bit. Uh, the main line comes next. The uh, Hessian Grenadiers will be uh, pushing up as a reserve and then we've split this uh, the, the main front line in between the Scottish and the Northumberland Fusiliers and we've got three units of 12 pounder Hobbitsers, General on the back, um, horsemen behind them and yes off we go. Let's start by deploying some of the stakes. I think we will deploy these two quite close and for this one I dare say I might uh, go a little bit closer to the enemy but as it turns out it looks like we got a few cavalry units right here and so maybe it's not the best idea to start marching off directly. We might let the cannons fire though at the um, the enemy cannons first. Right, get the Highlanders to advance. We'll advance 
up to about the road. Let's see. Did I select something more? No, there we go. Highlanders will march to that point. Northumberland Fusiliers will also march up there. And the Grenadiers will stay in the back. I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and deploy the cavalry on the farthest flank here and prepare for whatever is coming. And I think it's high time the Howitzers open fire. And see if we can get these three cannons to concentrate. I'm not entirely sure if I should concentrate on the enemy. Yeah, let's concentrate on the horsemen first. And then we can see about dealing with the enemy artillery and blow them to uh, pieces. Right now we're setting fire to the closest unit up there. Let's take get the marksmen ready behind the stakes as the cavalry is closing in, but I think he's actually going to go for the Highlanders. So we'll have the Highlanders halt right here. These guys were hit pretty badly, so maybe we need to focus in on those um, blasted cannons out there. I thought you were firing by rank. Maybe it's because it's cavalry. But well, it's uh, pretty unproductive to just have first rank fire. Yeah, I, ha I have. Huh. Why do you not want to fire by rank? It might be that they weren't properly deployed. Okay, continue on forwards. You've already lost a ton of men. We need to get those bloody cannons. The thing is, we are outnumbered by the enemy, and I surely need all the men I can get. Right, fire there. Howard's a round shot. Fire on that unit, and then we'll have one unit continue firing upon the enemy. No family boots there as everyone's firing in that unit. And the uh, first contact here, Fra uh, French light infantry, was seen off. They were hit by cannons quite a bit before they actually got here. It looks like din this one being hit quite a quite badly as well. We got a few others streaming out through town though. This one's still firing over here. I think I want to have it firing <coughs> towards town. Because even if he misses this one, he can probably hit that, that one. Oh, the cannons are moving now, which probably should uh, make it a lot easier for us to destroy them. Come on, get some shots in there. The main line is now uh, firing upon the enemy. We're going to let them come a bit closer. I do believe the cavalry is well and truly hidden. And uh, I can afford to keep them hidden for a bit longer before we throw them in the flank here. There's an alarming amount though of French troops coming through the center. And that could pose a difficult situation. Enemy cavalry closing in. I think it might be because they're firing at cavalry that front line is firing. Get into square. To protect against the enemy cavalry, you guys get into square as well. Setting fire to the forest as the French troops are advancing through it. Is the cavalry still? No, they are actually firing on the cavalry. Stupid me. Right. Cavalry, advance and attack. Look at all the Frenchmen coming in the center here. You need to make every shot count here, men. Let it rip through the French lines. Let's see if we can target the this howitzer. Needs to be fired. Not too close, though. 
It's going to fire just now, I think. We don't want to fire too close. Fire on the Hessian infantry. All the just like... I mean, at this point... He could read what's, what's on his lunchbox. But we want to hold off and fire for as long as possible against these. How's it going over here? Okay, let the cavalry push through and into the enemy cavalry. And then we can see about turning them in towards the center because they're needed there. Right, I think we need to move up the Hessian Grenadiers. We're not going to fire into the backs of our own men to start off with. Okay, the cavalry needs to move. They need to hit that center because that center is about to fall. These squares need to drop their squares because the enemy cavalry has been defeated, more or less. Okay, the cavalry. Strike towards the center. We're forcing quite a bit of the Frenchmen back. Is it the Hessians giving away? Northumberland Fusiliers are holding. We've got a mass rout going on in among the French troops. Let's see if we can get the first regiment to run away as well. And then we really need to turn on to the enemy cavalry. Although maybe, just maybe, they're about to lose on their own. Right, all the French infantry are gone. Turn back, deal with the cavalry. The main line is now heavily supported by the Hessian Grenadiers coming up in very thick lines. Prepare to hold against all onslaughts by the enemy. Right, let the cavalry continue to ravage through the enemy lines. Oh, they've actually gone ahead and dismounted the dragoons. Interesting. Oh, and the Dragoons are able to fire um, from a range which the Highlanders cannot return fire from. That attack cost the French heavily, but it also cost our, us quite a lot. This regiment is... There's a quite, quite a few of them here in the center that's not really ready to continue fighting. I'm a bit disappointed why the... Oh, now they're, fi now they're firing by rank. So it was the fact that they were firing on cavalry. If they had fired on troops that weren't, mount weren't mounted, they would have fired by rank. Okay, get that cavalry unit. I think this one will fall on its own. Hold your fire. Comes to flames. It doesn't seem as effective as it was during the battle of, or the siege of um, what you might call it. Right, round shot. Fire at will. Find your targets. One of the cavalry units is about to break. I think we might have uh, over overestimated the power of our cavalry at this point. Or oh, they're, they're just too exhausted at this point. And they are falling back. We are firing by rank now. Which is always very nice to see. Especially when we've got three lines like this. Okay, so our men are falling back. You see, these guys, they're firing at will. First rank. But these guys were firing by rank. Was this... In mid general, where did he turn up from? Oh no, the enemy! Oh crap! Right, hold fire, fire will with canister, and then the rangers need to fall back. Now we'll station them in between. 
the artillery pieces. Anyone stupid enough to attack this position at this point is uh, gonna suffer heavily because we got the spikes and everything else. Right, we need to wheel the army, form back into square. Let's go, Highlanders. Highlanders, come around. And Northumberland Fusiliers, come around. And part of the Hessians, come around. But these Hessians will advance up the hill. There's still, yeah, look at that. This is uh, what I thought. They were hiding Indians up there, Native Americans. So the, these Hessians will move up quickly and open fire while the rest of our, uh, our lines get ready. This unit of Highlanders getting destroyed in there among the French cavalry. Oh, there was actually a French cavalry unit that tried to get through here. Silly bastards. Yeah, the Highlanders were forced away. Oh, you know what? Since we got Indians up here, why don't we fire this special shot? And see if we can burn, burn them out of their positions. Ooh, the uh, enemy cavalry just fired real close up on these Highlanders. Right, form square. You know what? See if you can open fire and help these guys out a bit. Hold fire. I think we'll get this one to uh, to open fire and help you out. We got a lot of enemy infantry coming up. At the same time, you can see we've set fire to a few buildings up here. And uh, the few Native Americans that are coming through the village getting destroyed by the Hessian Grenadiers. This one is going to have to turn like this to deal with these guys. Right, are we dealing with these? Right, can you form... Leave the square. And then... Uh, the thing is, I want to push forwards to the wall, but it doesn't look like that's going to be an option. Ocean Grenadiers, move forwards. Is any of our cavalry turned back? This one's still firing round shot. It doesn't look as though the enemy is actually going to turn this way, so... Back to firing round shot. Come on, de destroy these guys. We're holding the main line over there. There's a lot of Frenchmen coming in here, so they're gonna go for another charge. We got the Grenadiers in the back, ready. Are they, they're gonna stay on their side of the wall, possibly. No, they're going to charge. Oh, there's a lot of them. Right. Hessian Grenadiers. Just a huge bloody melee fight in the center. You will come to the side. And fire into the enemy from there. Right, let's go down and watch this. We got all the Highlanders and now all the Hessians pushing in into just a massive brawl here. Highlander, Hessians and Frenchmen. We've got one unit of Northumberland Fusilier, which I forgot to move, which is standing firing into the mess from back there. I don't think the French have enough men to... Are they gonna push in another regiment there? Can I get some good fire going in on the side? Oh! Enemy cavalry regiment coming through. 
There's so many men stuck in the fighting over here. I don't know, can I throw grenades in? Or is that too risky? Oh crap, this Scottish line is almost destroyed, so it will be replaced by this one. Uh, Northumberland Fusiliers. Heavy fighting. This unit, let's see if we can get that shooting into the flank. Uh, what's going on here? We had an attack. These guys push forward, see if we can get the enemy in the back. And the Highlanders come out here. We got one enemy unit giving way. We got light enemy light infantry. The main line here seems to be holding. These guys are not really firing at it anything. Attack them in the back. Oh crap, we've got enemy cavalry coming in from square. And you guys in between here, maybe. Uh. And the French almost pushed through over here. The Northumberland Fusiliers are not firing back, which means they are dying over there, so they need to fall back. And then we maybe we can get both these units to start firing. Ooh, not the flames! The flames hit the square. The square will fall back. And it hit our grenadiers, I think. Because there's only 126 of them left. Come on, Highlanders. You need to stand from square. The main fight here is still fighting on. You know what? Let's get these bloody cannons on the way. Fire into that mess. I think we have the Highlanders firing now. We pushed the enemy back far enough so the Highlanders can fire through the mess. The square held but is not going to be holding for very long. Form a single line behind that fence and get there running rather quickly. Nice shots in here. Lots of flames going in. Yes, the main line held. But I imagine at this point quite a lot of these troops are not able to... Ah, oh, damn it. This unit is down to 26 men. Bloody Native Americans. We're they're holding up too many men on this side. Charge them. And then the few that remain will move towards the center. Okay, I... Ooh, those grenadiers right there. Yeah, they're gonna go... Run! Flee out of the flames! I, I can actually control them still. They're tired. They might be wavering a bit, but they're still holding. Okay, soldiers, fall back, fall back. We've got two Hessian Grenadiers coming up. Ready to take part here. Fall back, soldiers. Fall back. This Highlander unit is still holding strong, even though they're, they're down to only 45 men left. Uh, target those irregular musket men. The French keep charging after. It's Native Americans. But I'm hoping that all our cannons and stuff will turn this around. Didn't I tell a unit to charge these guys? You have to go do that. How's it going over here? 
Uh, losing slightly, I don't think so. I think we're going to win. Uh, because uh, once we've dealt with that, we can turn those guys over there. We have a few Hessian Grenadiers giving way. There's a lot of fighting over here. There's a lot of enemies. These are the special Hessian Grenadiers. Rather than the Hessian Castle. Fire! God damn it! Oh, nice! At such close range as well. And it's uh, Hessian troops. Ah, oh, crap, we're firing into our own there. Could be dangerous. They're coming a bit too close there, but French Rangers, I imagine, will take them on. Cannon hold fire, switch to canister, fire again. And these two. Fire at those. They are stuck in, in melee fighting that right now. In the center. Let's get the smaller units back. Forming a new line back here. Up ah, this unit. Managed to win that fight against our unit. Up to the front again. You know what? The general needs to come in. We cannot have this one roaming behind our lines. Let's see if we can hit, hit the important units, the big ones. Hold your fire, switch to canister and fire at will. Finally, these guys had to retreat. 27 men left. But uh, the command structure was intact. It's only the Piper who died. Well, I don't think they actually have a Piper. I think they have a uh, fallback. I think they have a, um, a drummer, like most regiments in this. These regiments are going to have to hold up here because otherwise, I fear. The line will give way. This one's gonna have to come back to there. General, you're gonna have to help out over there. We got these two coming in. That's gonna be good. It's gonna need those men. We're st st firing those shots into the enemy. Yes, that we. There we go. That did a lot. We have our, he our grenadiers up front, still fighting. These guys cannot really retreat because they're engaged with cavalry and if they retreat they will just drag them on straight into uh, our lines. Bloody bastards. Fire on this unit. Third cannon, still firing round shot, we target the cavalry. We need to f deal with this guy somehow. Can we get around here and then charge in the rear of the enemy Native American unit? There's 54 of these men left and they're still fighting on. And then the flames come in and it sort of turns the enemy. Our men fall back, but so does the enemy units. <laughs> Cavalry turn around and go in to the enemy. Fire on the units that actually remain. You need to come to that position up there. A lot of our units are down to very few men. Right, this unit. He's sitting in an angle, I think, which is not very helpful. So we're gonna move our men around, maneuvering around him to attack him. So that unit's gonna come up in the flank. This one's gonna come from over here, and then advance from this side. 
And that's how I'm going to win. We managed to win the fight over here. And now with these two units, this one at least, of 200 men. It's going to march uh, forwards and deal with these two Native American units. And it's going to be followed by this one. I'm going to go ahead and charge these guys. I'm going to get rid of them. General can go ahead and take care of the light infantry. And it looks as though, even though we were outnumbered two to one, that we will be able to win this. Right, we quickly turn this fight around when we moved into the flank. However, the general is moving a bit too close here. And he gave the charge order. As you all heard, so we will pull back and try to find cover behind the stakes. Native American units are giving way. I think maybe it will suffice with the attack from the general to deal with that unit. The howitzer will stop firing as to not set fire to our own men. The enemy general is stupid enough to follow us through the spikes. He dies. And it's retreating and that means the end of his army. Now general comes in. To clear the enemy away. Right, Hessian Grenadiers, you will continue marching. I want to just take a look at what's going on here. A lot of the units are down to less. I don't think I have almost as... I, like, there's like two units that still have ab above 200 men. Unless the f you count the, the rangers then, because... But they weren't really in the main of the fighting. The French went ahead and they did two massive melee charges. You can see a lot of bodies here. Cavalry and all. Native American troops as well. Thousands of men lit to the field. Here we've got a mass of troops that just died. Right, can we uh, do some fancy marching on the roads, maybe? Look at this. This was the m main area of slaughter. So many bodies here. So much fighting. It was really th against the reinforcement army that we lost the most men. I mean, if you thought this was a lot, and then you look at what happened here, and then the second line there, and all the bodies lying in here. A lot of it is those yellow pans from the enemy's cavalry. And then you can see a few Scots here and there. But there we go. We have the Battle of Newfoundland, and we were victorious with the battle. Close victory. That took a lot. Hopefully, though, not a single unit was lost throughout all of this, which means I can replenish them. This unit was only 14 men left. No, I was about to say that we lost one of the um, Northumberland Fusiliers, but that's not true. A part of their force actually survived. Let's see, did we lose anything? Northumberland Fusiliers, there are four. Scotsmen, there are four. Fraser's Rangers, there are three. Uh, German Grenadiers, though, there's supposed to be ten. We might have lost one of them. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, we didn't lose. We didn't lose a single unit, according to this at least. We can see about if we can recruit the German Grenadiers. Nope. That means everyone survived, and we need to replenish them all. 
The only units that didn't lo lost any men or lose any men that was those two howitzers. We're not gonna rebuild anything there, but we're gonna tear this down so we can turn this island Protestant. And then we will upgrade these buildings. Region captain, Newfoundland, and he got drill master, five plus campaign movement range and compa um, and experience leading line infantry. So he's turning out pretty darn well. Back to Europe then, because then mm, that means that we need to prepare for an invasion of Paris, because their their only region they have left should be Paris. So if I Go ahead and t look at regions. He can't give me anything here or here or here. Meaning he only has this left. And so we need to prepare for an invasion force. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to split off the Royal British Grenadiers and the uh, British... Um, Royal British Grenadiers and the Roy the British Fusiliers and they're gonna be in a special army and then the 33rd I think it is yes 33rd Scottish Highlanders Royal Welsh Fusiliers some normal line infantry uh, Royal Carazier Guard and the cannons will go in their own line I probably need more guns though to attack the fort but I want to do this as quickly as possible because I do believe that the enemy does not actually carry any troops whatsoever in the capital, which means that I can win this pretty darn easily. We can just march in to Paris. And the first army lands is able to march up on Paris because, well, there's nothing there. There's still a lot of garrison troops though, and we need to wait for the second force to come in as well, which will be carried over by the second navy. It is a bit silly that you can really have like one sloop carry an army of a few thousand men. In this case, though, we got a proper navy to uh, bring the army across. So this part, the Royal Fus the Fusiliers, British Fusiliers, and the Royal Grenadiers join the army. But I think we'll save this one for another battle, and I think we'll actually do the battle just because it's Paris. And it needs to be a bit special, especially since it's the. It is. I, I just said it twice that it is Paris, but I I meant because it is the last, the last place they hold as well. So we're gonna wait and we're gonna play that. We might even get these guys to come in, the Carboniers. One thing I noticed just here in the end, uh, we got some uh, Scots and stuff being recruited here. I noticed that I, for some reason in Scotland, I can recruit uh, a lot of different Swiss units, so Swiss Guards, uh, Swiss Grenadiers, Swiss Line Infantry, and so on. I'm not entirely sure. And Swiss Pikemen for some reason. I can recruit Sw Swiss Pikemen. Seems a bit outdated at this point, since it's uh, 1730. Anyways, without dragging this on too long, Let's go ahead and say, as I always say, I hope you guys enjoy this. And hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.